So hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where I'll be showing you how to create this video view and it will also come with this media controller at the bottom and it's it's quite simple, it's a few lines of code and a lot of the documentation is really annoying, I couldn't really find any good documentation on this so I did my best to scrape it together and uh, let's just get started with it. Oh yeah, also I wanted to specify that I'll teach you how to take it from an online resource and how to take it from a local resource on your computer. But the first thing you want to do is go to your manifest file and type in users permission, Android permission internet, and then we'll go to our rest file and create a new raw resource directory. And from there you can drag in a media file such as an MP4 file. And uh, yeah, that's all you need to get started. Then we're going to go to our activity main.xml and we're going to change it to a relative layout, add a video view with an ID of video view. We're going to center it in the parent and we're going to make it match parent on the width and height. So a very simple XML, one of the smallest XML files I've ever used. And finally, we can get straight to the code where we're going to create a media controller and we're going to add the context of this. Then we're going to use this media controller to set an anchor view to our video view. Then we're going to create our online URI kind of resource. So we're going to do URI.pass and then you can just place in the link from online. And essentially you need to find a website with raw video footage, open, right click and open the video in a new window. And at the top you can see there's a link to the raw resource file and you can just paste it in there. It has to be raw, you can't just paste in a YouTube video. But uh, yeah, that's how simple it is to paste an online resource. But for the offline, you're going to do yuri.past and you're going to type in android.resource, double dots, or uh, colon, double slash, and then we can put uh, dollar sign package name slash dollar sign open curly braces and finally r.raw.tutorial video which is the file in your raw folder. Immediately after that we're going to create a set media controller which is going to take our media controller as a value and we're going to write video view dot set video URI which can be either the online URI, uh, URI or the offline URI and finally request focus and starts to make sure that it actually starts so essentially as soon as you open the application it's going to play your media file and there is the cat from before, so it just starts upon opening. And uh, let's try it with the offline link, or the online link, I mean. And if we click play, we should see a bunch of silly trees going everywhere. And there we are, a very beautiful slow motion overview of the forest. And the only problem I found with this kind of video player is it's kind of glitchy towards the bottom, such as if you drag that, it'll skip to 10, and it doesn't look really professional. It's very kind of raw, so I definitely recommend you look into some other kind of uh, controller or create your own. There's a lot of methods. If you just type a video player dot, you'll see that you can start it, you can stop it, you can suspend it, you can get the current time, and you can set the current time. So there's a lot of parameters you can, can, uh, can control just by typing dots after your video player. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video. I just showed you the very, very basics of the video player. And uh, hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to do a little bit more research on this video player and I'll be able to bring you a very in-depth tutorial, but for getting started, I think this is all you need.